<laughs> There's only four. I'm glad I'm not back in 1935, I can tell you that. All right, we got something special in the shop we're going to be working on and uh, this one's definitely going to be breaking up the normal day-to-day -day collision repair so we've got a 1935 chevrolet pickup check this thing out what a nice old truck this is and uh this guy had a little accident bumped into this here front fender on this one so this is what we're going to be going ahead and taking care of in the shop you don't see these like this and uh just a beautiful old truck it's got a blue on it with the black top and then the black fenders this will be different i haven't worked on a 1935 chevrolet i could say that so take you guys through the process on this that way you guys can see how these old trucks go together and uh, i'll see if it's different from painting the new modern day car so we're going to go ahead and get this one on video for you All right, so here's the truck. It's now inside. You guys seen Dustin was doing the hammering on it. That's my man Dustin there. You guys seen him before, but he's getting this thing straightened out. That way he can do some of the actual filler work. But in order to get this out, he wanted to do it on the vehicle. So we are going to be taking off the fender once we get to that stage so we can paint it off the truck, get inside here really good because you guys see it goes deep down inside around the hood and we want to make sure we do a nice job on it. So he's going to do his thing and then we'll be getting this thing ready for the booth. All right, they got the fender ready to come off and uh, they're about to remove it now. They said the best thing about it was it wasn't all rusted because this had been restored before so the bolts were easy to come off so there wasn't too much involved with it. All right, so that's the fender now off the truck. And as I was telling you guys before, this one had a full restoration of frame off done. So there is documentation of that here inside the truck. All right, so here's the book. And uh, this is the whole thing from start to finish on the restoration book. So this one was done back in January 20th of 2003. And uh, they did a frame off on it. So really nice documentation done to this here truck of how it was in the beginning. Looked like it was an old solid truck, but definitely needed to be done. And they did the full restoration on this one. So they took it all the way down to the frame, rebuilt the motor, took it down to metal, and uh, just documented everything that was done to it from start to finish. And you guys see here the chassis was taken off, but everything was done inside and out on it. And uh, it's a really nice truck. So pretty cool to see this here in all the stages of the uh, full restoration done to it. So nice truck. And this is definitely valuable to have with this truck is having the actual document of the full restoration done. So we want to get it back up to the standards that it had before. That way this thing is mint like it was. All right, so here's what I was telling you guys about. See how nice the inside of the fender is. So we're going to be painting not only the outside and doing the repair to the outside, but we're going to be doing the repair to the inside of the fender. You guys see they actually smoothed out the inside of these fenders. When they did the restoration, there's a little bit of filler in there and uh, got this to where on the inside looks as nice as the outside. So they did a really nice job and we're gonna have to do the same. All right, so we've got the fender now over here. You guys see how nice of a job Dustin did on this here bodywork. And not only did it have that dent on the outside, but here it actually tore the metal. He had to weld that up and did a little bit of filler work on it, as well as the top here, it pulled down. There's a brace that runs inside here and it actually buckled it when it actually got hit on the side because it extends from over there, over here to this area here, which stressed out the whole top of this thing. So look at the nice job they did on prepping this thing out for me over here. That way we can get this thing primed up. So, all right, so that's the bottom now. Not only did we finish the top, but we finished the bottom, did the filler work on the inside, and also did the inside of this area here, as well as this area here. So what we'll do now is we'll prime this out and we'll get this thing ready for paint once we get it primed up. All right, so here's the fender all primed up with the 2K. We went ahead and we put the dark gray on it. That's the PPG 2K primer. 
And on this one here, we had to prime it on the inside as well as the outside. So what we're gonna try to do is hang this up. That way we can shoot it all at one time and we don't have to do it in two stages by uh, masking up the bottom because this is a very awkward fender to try to paint because we have to paint around the edge of this. So we're gonna try to get this thing hung up and uh, see what we can do with that. But first, we're gonna get it prepped out. All right, so we've got to get the color now for this black. Obviously, there's no paint code, and a lot of guys will think black is black, but there's so many different variances of black. There's brown, there's yellow, there's bluer. So we're going to use the uh, deck here from PPG. That's one thing I like about the deck system from PPG is they have all their colors. No matter the manufacturer, it's all in the same deck for each shade. So we can go through and fan through these and get this here color matched really nicely without having a lot of problems. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll check it to this fender and uh, we'll get a good match on it. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and look for whatever shade this is. And we're gonna look at it with the sunlight. You guys see here, we have our light. That way we can see the flop because when you're checking colors, you wanna look from the angle. That way you can see the side tone on the color and that's gonna be very helpful with black. Because a lot of times you'll see guys, they'll paint cars and then they'll pull them out in the sun and that black will be too yellow, too gray, too brown. And uh, that's definitely not what we wanna do here with this one, so. All right, so the one we're gonna use is gonna be 202 black with the bluer. So that's the best match we've got. We've got it checked here from the side tone and that's gonna be the one that we need to do. So let's go ahead and get it mixed up and we're gonna get that fender in the booth hung up and hopefully be able to get that secure because I hate painting things that are swinging because it makes it that much harder. So. Let's go see what we got to do to get that thing held up in the booth. All right, so we've got it now attached to the booth here. Luckily, we have this area here where the curtain goes and we were able to put a chain on it. And then this here is just resting to keep it from twisting with some zip ties. So now we'll be able to paint it all at one time and get a nice job because we can get underneath this as well as the top and be done with it all at one time. So you guys know I like to do things once, get them in and out, and uh, that's the way you're gonna make the most amount of money in the collision industry is getting things done one time right. So we're gonna go ahead, clean it, seal it, hit it with our 202 black, get it nice. We'll get it back on the truck and I'll show it to you guys all finished up and you guys let me know what you think of it. All right, so that's the sealer. I put one coat on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some black to it. I'm not gonna show it to you guys. And then I'm gonna put two coats of the clear and I'll bring you guys back in and show it to you guys all finished up.
All right, so let's get this thing built. All right, so I needed some help for this old school truck. He's gonna show me how to get this thing started. It's got a manual choke on it. So pull the choke. Yep, turn the key. Okay. And then use your right foot and you want to hit the starter, but also be able to keep the ball this of your the foot. starter? Get, yep, starter's on the right, gas is right there under your leg. There you go. Give it a little gas. This is gas? Yep. You gotta give it a little gas while you're turning it over. There you go. Oh, you almost had it. Wow. You gotta be able to work that gas. There you go. There you go. There's only four I'm pedals. glad I'm not back in 1935, I can tell you that. There's only four pedals down there you have to worry about. <laughs> All right, we're about to back it up. And I'll tell you what, it wasn't any fun driving these old trucks back in the day. A lot of work, but it's definitely cool to see how things have evolved from uh, back then, because you got all these pedals, you got a feather on both back, and uh, it's, it's definitely different. Can't imagine being back then going to the store in one of these and having to do all that stuff to get it going. We take it for granted all the stuff we've got now that we've really come to learn and uh, get the technology up. So let's go ahead and get it in the shop and uh, get this thing back together. All right, guys, so this is the old 1935 Chevrolet pickup all finished up. The job came out nice, you guys can see it. But I'll tell you what, I wanted to show you guys why this is such a fun truck to drive. And uh, I'll bring you in there now. All right, so you guys see there, it has four pedals in it. So one of them is a starter, and then the other one is the throttle next to it, that other round stainless steel looking uh, circular pedal and then you have your brake and your clutch. So as you're trying to start it up with the one on the right, you have to hit it, the one on the left, which is the gas to get it feathered in and uh, get it started. So definitely a cool old truck. You guys see it here. He's even got a silver dollar down there from 1935 uh, in the truck, glued down to the floor pan there. And uh, just a really nice old truck. I'll do a little bit of a walk around now and show it to you guys. All right guys, so I hope you guys like this one. Let me know what you think of the 1935 Chevrolet. So give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.